Hmm? Huh? What? Huh? Oh, it's... Oh! <laughs> Hello there! This is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria! And this is my next, uh, blind reaction video! Episode, uh, 23 of Season 5! Yo! <laughs> the gla- oh. I can't imagine this episode being any worse than the last one. <laughs> uh, who could have thought a Discord episode could be... boring? Hmm. Oh, well, anyway. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, so, anyway, I hope again. So, I think the short answer is I'm definitely looking forward to this episode and hope that, that the next one will be better. And I, I'm pretty certain that it will. So, <laughs> so anyway. So, next episode is just about to start. Yes! So, five. Four, three, two, one, start! Ah. Does every animal have their copy of Weathering Hooves? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> okay. Hooray! <laughs> I love Furry Friends Book Club! Oh, good! Now, let's discuss the theme of nature as it applies to Hoofcliff's love. Okay. Hmm? Aww. Did some pony leave a light on? <laughs> Yo, Fluttershy. Oh, it's me. <laughs> oh. oh, it's me. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, time to go. We'll continue this discussion when I get back. Okay, bye. Good luck. <laughs> Anybody speak, um, animal? My little pony, my little pony. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and that's what makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Oh. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, there's uh, not much to comment on this episode so far because. And it, was, it is kind of nice to be back in the game, sort of the thing, and being back in my live format, and uh, hopefully I'll get these out a lot sooner than I did the last two. But anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, oh, another map quest, um, adventure thing. Yo, this time with Fluttershine, it'll be interesting to see who the other uh, pony she got paired with will be. Hmm. Yes, and as always it seems to be the case of the map uh, adventures is that, uh, oh, it's like we're just about to sit down, relax, chill out, and oh, no, duty calls, so, mm. <laughs> but such seems to be the nature of such things, it's like, oh, <laughs> you know, duty will always call when it's uh, least appropriate, because, oh. I kind of had, I kind of understand this, unfortunately, because it's like, yeah, all last week, let's just say I had some issues I had to go deal with, and, oh, <laughs> that kind of took the fun out of trying to do videos and stuff, so, oh, dear. <laughs> so that did, that, that was a lot of fun, so yeah, duty definitely called and everything, but, eh. But anyway, good news is those things have been resolved, everything's cool, and now I can go back and watch this episode, it's gonna be really cool. At least I hope so. And the number thing is, it's almost the end of the- <laughs> The end is near! No! <laughs> anyway, back to the episode. Yo! Ah, uh, it's the castle. Again. <laughs> Follow the floating cutie bark. You're here! <laughs> Isn't this exciting? <laughs> oh, you were called too! Yay! Thank goodness, I feel so much better going with a friend. The I was about to come and get you, but then I got oh, distracted! No. <laughs> oh. Ever since the map called us, I've been doing a ton of research. <laughs> yes. Testing out potential friendship problems. Oh. Diversifying my solution portfolio. Uh oh dear. Ever since the map called us? But that happened five minutes ago. Yeah, that was five minutes I ago, Toy. But I want to be 100% hey. prepared. I mean, I'm the princess of friendship. How would it look if I couldn't solve a friendship problem? That would oh, be embarrassing. I'm so lucky I'm being sent with you. Speaking of which, where are we going? The Smoky Mountains. Okay. Oh, I've never been there before. Well, Neither have I. And there isn't a lot of information on them. All I could find was this. <laughs> the Smoky Mountains harbor the most beautiful valley in all of Equestria, uh -oh. between its two majestic mountain peaks. That's gorgeous. And where there's nature, there's a ton of animal friends. <laughs> I can't wait to 
to get started. I'm a little nervous since that's all I could find. I usually like to be a bit more prepared. Mm, yeah. You seem pretty prepared to me. Uh, yeah. How did you read all those books Are so those fast? For us? Yep, I've prepared our things. Snacks, books, blankets, books. You said books twice. There are a lot of books. Oh dear. Well, I hope you've got a strong back, Fluttershy. Ugh. I'll take that as no. What do you think our friendship problem's gonna be? I don't know. But I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh, poor. F oh. Oh, dear. Oh, we're gonna take the balloon. That's it first. Uh, do you think it'll be a problem about lying? What? I'm sure we'll find out when we get there. You're right. Uh oh, could that be foreshadowing? <laughs> For me, I thought the balloon was gonna be too heavy to go. When two friends just randomly decide to do something together, but they forget to invite the third friend, and the third friend oh, feels left out. Fluttershy slash Twilight. <laughs> or where one friend tells another friend's secret after they ask them not to. Um, we'll know very, Twilight. very soon, since we're almost there. Almost there. I can make it. I can make it. <laughs> wow. Uh, here, let me get that. Oh, that was nice. Uh, thank you. Sorry, I've been a little skittly boppy boo. I just can't believe this is finally happening. They're coming. We're under attack. Whoa! Whoa! Get out of the light what of fire! What's happening? What does it look like? Nothing like your book said it would be. Oh boy, I'm feeling very unprepared. Uh, yeah. Where do we even start? Uh, getting down might Maybe be helpful. Maybe by figuring out where the flying pumpkins are coming from? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Granny! I'd move if I were you. <laughs> there we go. Um, hi! Mm. Hello. Excuse us, but what are you doing? We're pumpkin in our neighbors. That doesn't sound very nice. Yes, but um, why are you pumpkining your neighbors? Well, because the McColts are just plain rotten. Oh. Hey, wait a tick. Who are you two? You're not spies for the McColts, are you? Uh, no. I am Twilight Sparkle, the princess of friendship, and I'm here to solve your friendship problem. I'm Fluttershy, <sighs> and um, I'm here too. Yeah. <laughs> Ma Hoofield, pleased to meet you, but you're wasting your time. We don't have a friendship problem. We have a McCult problem. And there's absolutely no friendship there. I'm afraid not. Well, maybe there could be if we figure out what the McCults did to make you so mad. Oh, well, they've done so many things. Uh -oh. Why, just today, they shot pebbles at our farmhouse and wrecked it. <laughs> See, we're not very good at building, so all it took was a little pebble. But Bummer. still! Hmm. Let's see. I don't think that'll be the best. Oh no! Oh no, Oh no! Hey, pay attention to what I you're know doing! What to do. We're gonna talk with these McColts and hear their side of the story. Once what? we have all the facts, uh -oh. we can put an end to this using reason and rationale. Yeah. Good bet plan. On it. That's why she's the princess. In the meantime, could you please call off the pumpkining? Oh, all right. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Come on, Fluttershy. Okay. <sighs> State your business. <sighs> Don't even bother. They're probably spies for the hoof fields. Hey, wait. You're an alicorn. Yo. I thought just the three princesses were alicorns. There are four alicorn princesses in Equestria now. Yay. I am Twilight Sparkle, the princess of friendship. Hi down there. I'm, I'm Fluttershy. We have a new princess? When did that happen? And, and, and how did the Hoofields come by a princess spy? We are not spies. Why does every pony assume we're spies? <laughs> because we don't get a lot of visitors. Um, tilt down. I'm Big Daddy McCulloch. You caught us at a weird time. We're in the middle of a giant feud with our terrible neighbors! neighbors! I don't think they heard you. Ooh. Well, actually, wow. that's why we're here. To solve your problem with the hoof fields. So you're here to help us get rid of them. <laughs> uh, no, sorry. No, that's not what I meant at all. Oh. Well. If you ain't for us, uh -oh. you're against us. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, dear. 
This is gonna. Uh oh. This is gonna be a tough one. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Yes. Oh no. <sighs> Unfortunately, this wasn't. This wasn't difficult to predict, given the the title of this episode. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's gonna be interesting in how they're gonna resolve this. Um. Hmm. This is, I think I think this is going to be one of those parts of if you don't want spoilers or something, you know, skip ahead to the end of this commercial break thing. But because <laughs> yeah, I think it's like it sounds like you know they made what was it? Oh, I forget. Whatever the the first side that we talked to, you know, they said that you know it's like we're really lousy at building things, but the other side looks like they're really good at building things. They have this like fort and everything. I'm gonna bet you the other the first side they're gonna be really good at growing things and then they're, that's how they're gonna resolve it. It's like okay, we need you to help us build our house. We need you to help feed us or something, and that'll probably be the way that they figure they somehow get these two sides to uh, work together. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean that'll be interesting to see. You know, <laughs> but I was but I was thinking that you know at the end you know, with that it's like you know well, if you're not with us you're against us because yeah they're, <laughs> I was I was wondering when someone was gonna try to take them hostage or something. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I don't think that's gonna happen because that'll make it kind of difficult to uh, you know solve this if 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 they're both locked in a cage somewhere. But <laughs> you never know. I hope it doesn't happen though. <laughs> Again, it's gonna be. I mean, it'll be interesting to see what's the what's the motivation between these two groups of people. Why are they all, um, you know, angry at each other and throwing pumpkins and whatever at each other. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I don't remember. I don't remember the actual history of the was it the heart I for, ah, the Hartfields and the McCoys. I don't even remember what the what uh, they were feuding about. But I think I remember that it didn't end well for either side. I think it ended with both sides being wiped out. Mm. Oh dear. But fortunately, I know that's not going to happen here, so that'll be good. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's like, <laughs> it'll be an interesting thing. You know, I was thinking, was, was Fluttershy the right pony to break along in this? I think, in a way, probably yes, because, yeah, I mean, it's going to be kindness, maybe, in a way that will, uh, bring these two sides together and all oh, poor Twilight. She's so overprepared for this, and she's definitely. <laughs> I must have been for some reason. I just I remember. It's like I'm kind of like this. Like I'll bring everything and everything. Sometimes just to be. I was like, I have all bases covered and be prepared. And everything. It's like, oh, poor Fluttershy. It's like, mm, she needs to. Mm, she needs to work out more. <laughs> but then again, uh, <laughs> I was like, would have been interesting to see how Rainbow Dash would have dealt with all those books. She probably would have been able to handle a little bit better. But she would probably say, oh, these books are really heavy. To my life. <laughs> but you know. But that was nice of Twilight to realize that, yeah, Fluttershy is struggling with all the books, and so she helps her right now. That's cool. Yo ho. Um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see, you know, <laughs> how this is going to work out and what's going to happen. And, um, and it is good to have another uh, map episode, um, considering that there's basically, I think there's just one more regular episode. This will probably be the last one of the season. But considering that all the um, main six now have actually had one of these, it's like, um, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes, they did. Um, that, yeah, that'll be the end of it. It'll be interesting to see if these come back for next season. They probably will. So, um, yeah, so anyway, uh, so back to the episode. Yes! Uh, uh oh. I might need this. <laughs> we are not on any pony's side. No. We're here to help you become friends again. <laughs> it's like we are neutral. Well, that's gonna be hard. I don't believe we've ever been friends with the field. But you could be. They're yes. just really upset you ruined their farmhouse. Wait a whole woggling minute. We only did that because the Hookfields pulled the pin out of our wagon wheel. Mm. A whole week's worth of food rolling down the mountain. Us McCoats are mighty fine builders, but we don't know the first thing about farming. Bummer. <laughs> we have to travel a ways away to buy our food. Now, we'll be stuck eating the pumpkins the Hookfields launched at us. <laughs> pumpkin bread, pumpkin soup, pumpkin quesadillas, pumpkin pie, pumpkin cheese. Not pumpkin, pumpkin quesadillas, pie, no. Pumpkin frittatas. Actually, that all sounds pretty good. But it'll be <laughs> all. Hmm, I don't think there's anything in the book that says that. <laughs> Uh, you have to say there's a lot more variety of the ponies in this in, the, in both of these families, I think. Hi there. Have you tried meeting at a neutral location, talking about your problems, and really listening to each other? What? No. 
could sooner lock their dinners at us and listen to us. Well, they'll listen to me. I'm an impartial third party. Oh, good. Uh-oh. Hmm? Oh. Attention, Hookfields and the Colts. I'm not on any pony's side, but I can see you're both wasting time and resources on being mean to each other. Uh, ponies are supposed to help each other and be kind. Yes. So, let's stop this senseless fighting. Uh, that was not exactly... Oh, I'm not on anyone's there. side yet. I flew over do it. to the Ready to go right home, here. Fluttershy? I'd love to, but... It's not gonna be we that easy. solved the problem already, shouldn't our cutie marks be glowing again? Oh, yeah. They should be glowing any minute now. Um, I think I hear the sniper round coming. <laughs> <laughs> that was a difficult to predict. <laughs> hey, come on, get down! <laughs> I got the gas man. Oh, the tomatoes! <laughs> Everybody for themselves! Come up with a potential friendship solution number 28. Oh. I guess we should find out why the hook fields are launching tomatoes now. We're out of pumpkins, that's why. One at a time, Green Hoof. If you smush them tomatoes in the slingshot, they won't break on the McColes. What are you doing? I asked you to stop fighting. Oh, is that what you were hollering about? We thought the McColes rubbed you the wrong way. So we tomatoed them for you. My mistake. Stop the tomato slingshots! <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Uh, sorry. Incoming hail bags. Hail. Thank Reload God, Twilight. Reload the tomato slingshots. We're gonna paint their mountaintop red. No, no. Oh, weapons free. Got Twilight and Flame Shot. Well, that didn't work. No. I was so sure it would. Um. Oh, poor, oh, poor guy. Uh-oh, uh -oh, now you've done it. It was a good plan. You need to think of another one. And soon, this yeah. fight is really affecting the animals around here. <laughs> yeah, I think under the bush would be worry. perfectly safe. Not to worry. I'll just, uh... Find the root of the problem and work from there. That would be a good idea. <laughs> They lost it their house. Pardon us, Ma, but do you remember what started this whole feud in the first place? No. They know what they did. They know what they did. Well, well we I'm don't. I'm starting to think neither of you know what either of you have done. Sure we do. Them Hookfields did us a grave injustice some time ago for some reason. Here, here. Okay, backup plan to the backup plan. <laughs> Maybe we can find some common ground that you can bond over. What do you do when you're not fighting? That's easy. Getting ready to fight. What do you hope to get out of fighting? The satisfaction of winning! Okay. Of winning what? The fight, of course! To prove our family is the best! The best at what? Winning! Haven't you been listening? So the only thing they have in common is that they both want to win a fight and neither of them know what it's over. How can I end this feud if I don't know what it's about? Oh, Ooh, poor Twilight. Maybe somebody just needs to say they're sorry. That's a good idea. <laughs> and friendship solution number 48. But we can move it up. <laughs> I'm so glad you agreed to do this. This apology cake will go a long way to nice. making amends between you two. Which part of my argument changed your mind? The part where I said the benefits of friendship outweigh the cost of war? Or the part where I said forgiveness is an investment in happiness? Yeah, yeah, all of it. <laughs> Wait, are you even listening to me? No. Who goes there? It's Ma Hoofield. Hoofield alert! Arm the cannons! <laughs> Battle stations! With an apology cake. Oh, okay. Did you say cake? Cake? Has it cake? Consider it a gesture of goodwill from us to you. Well, that was nice. I haven't had cake in ages. <laughs> oh, that guy's drooling. Open the gate! Do it now. We need that cake. Oh, that was oh, nice. It's such a beautiful cake. Think of this as more than just a cake. It's the first step in the long road to forgiveness. Nothing though. says let's be friends like a cake that says let's be friends. <laughs> I wrote that in icing on the top. Oh, okay. Oh. For glory! Oh no, ambush! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Unfortunately, we're ready for that. Down to force formation! Mm. Yes, 
Master! Charge! Oh no! Run! Ready! <laughs> Aim! Uh oh. What? Oh no! Get down! <laughs> oh, what's up? Uh, oh no, they got him! Oh, Hoofield! You planted ponies in that cave? Yeah! <laughs> Wait, are you serious about apologizing? <laughs> Why in a question <laughs> would we do that? We didn't oh. do anything wrong! Oh, no. What are you talking about? You done so many things wrong! Not yeah. as many as you! <laughs> oh, oh! Take that! Cuts a commercial! No! <laughs> I, I must admit, I'm really enjoying this episode because I get to <laughs> uh, at least my royal guard. I guess it's like uh, get down, men, <laughs> or get down, ponies. <laughs> but it's like I can't. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it's like my, oh. it's like. Well, those carrots are dangerous. They were able to penetrate wood. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, it's like, but I, I, I like this. And it's, oh, oh dear. Oh no. Oh, I'll say this. I can't help but think this is somewhat appropriate for everything that's going on right now. But that's all I'm gonna say. It's like, oh. But anyway, it's like I do, I do like the, the way that they're going about this, and that, that you know, it is much more fun. And ultimately, I'm sure both of these sides are gonna realize, you know, this feud is really stupid. You know, it's just. <laughs> Just like even they don't know what it's about, you know. It's like they're just they're so wrapped up in the hatred. It's like yeah, they're just so mean to us. But I don't remember what they did. Uh, but I'm sure they've done more bad things to us than we have to them. So, uh, so get weapons and ammo. We're going in. <laughs> That'll be interesting to see and how they're gonna ultimately resolve this. It's like oh poor Twilight. I'm kind of surprised by Twilight. Do you think that Twilight would have? learn that you know by now that she can't fix every problem from the book <laughs> but in some ways it's actually uh, kind of sort of been helpful okay yeah she's trying sort of the ways to resolve this problem but yeah it's like obviously finding out the root of the problem or what caused this to begin with would have been a good idea because yeah because yeah two sides are just fighting like this you know it's like if you don't know what started it you can't you know help resolve it and stop it because because you have to <laughs> Because you, you can't bring the two sides together and actually talk about their problems if you don't know what their problems are. <laughs> um, yeah, and I thought that I did I did find that surprise that was it the hoof fields. Um, yeah, it's like it's like what you just gonna go and make them a, a an apology cake? Hmm, why would you do that for? And it's like uh, they played the old Trojan horse trick on them. <laughs> it's like uh, ambush, but oh no, now the hoof fields have been captured. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, I don't like that. It's like, yeah, they planned something, but they were prepared for it, and then they planned an ambush, and it's going back and forth and everything. I like that. <laughs> so anyway, back to the episode. Mm. All right, I have to keep this ready. <laughs> oh, no, it's a disaster. <laughs> get away from me. Just get away. Oh, run, little squirrel. <laughs> If you could just not yell so much, or maybe stop saying words altogether. Oh no! Poor Fluttershy. Oh. Twilight? Oh no, we've lost Twilight. Oh. Oh, Twilight's sad. Oh. Oh. Um, Twilight? We should probably get back there. I mean, if you need a break, that's fine, but like, I really point? can't do this without you. I don't know if we can do this at all. Aww. Even if I make things right, they're just going to fight again. <laughs> hey, little fellas. Well, that's okay. You can come out. I think it's safe. <laughs> Here for you. Aww. Oh, 
and you're freezing. Aww. I'm gonna take you all home with me and get you all hot cocos. Well, that's How nice. do you feel about book clubs? I don't get it. This was supposed to be the most beautiful valley in all of Equestria. What happened? <laughs> Guess. What's that? Oh. Uh huh. Twilight. They know what happened here. What? Oh, good. I'm glad someone does. All right. Every pony free! Yeah. Free! Uh, yalla. <laughs> Fluttershy, you have to tell them! Uh, it's a lot harder to freeze an army of ponies than just six of them! Yeah, uh, it's really hard. Come on, do it now, Fluttershy! Before you keep fighting, there is something you should know. Long ago, there were two best friends, Grubblefield and Piles McColt. When they found the valley between the Smoky Mountains, they knew it was something special. So they made a promise to each other to protect and preserve the valley for all its adorable furry inhabitants. Yo. But they disagreed on how to go about it. Hmm. Okay. Grub wanted to start by planting crops so that every pony would have something to eat. But Piles thought it would be better to start by building a shelter to protect them against the cold and wind. Hmm. The two ponies were unable to come to an understanding, so Piles went ahead and built a shelter anyway, exactly where Grub was going to start his farm. What? How could you? Uh, Grub was upset, so he tore down Piles' shelter so he could plant his crop. They kept fighting back and forth until it turned into a feud. <laughs> hey. No. Hey, careful. Aww. The valley suffered from the constant destruction until finally the Hooffields and the Colts moved to separate mountains. Aww. Even then, the valley and all the animals in it continued to be caught in the crossfire. Aww. You see, by fighting, you're destroying the very thing that brought you here in the first place. So it's time you both put your differences aside and come together. If not for yourselves, then for the sake of these cute and cuddly guys. Yo! Uh, 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 uh. Oh, shucks. We never meant to hurt you, little critters. Yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> Yay! Uh, they say they accept your apology. Yo! Uh, can you let uh, us go now? Princess, uh, you can unfreeze us now. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, oh, right, yeah, okay. Uh, oh. Ma Hoopfield, we promise we won't fight you no more. Us two. Except we promise not to fight you. I suppose it doesn't matter who's right. We're both wrong. Well, that's one thing we can agree on. Aww. <laughs> Uh, ew, but... This is wonderful! I am so proud of you two! Oh, well, thanks, too. Princess. Though, I would just like to point out uh -oh. that I was the, uh, first to admit I was wrong. That not may now. be, but I promise not to fight first. That counts for more. Oh, yeah? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Uh, oh, all right. We don't have to speak animal to know what y'all are saying. Truce. Truce. Yay. Oh, it's a beautiful <laughs> thing. I died a pretty shot. Sure is. The McColts are gonna help us rebuild our homes. Good ones this time. And the Hoopfields are gonna help us grow some crops. Not pumpkins. Thanks for teaching us that friendship is so much better than winning a silly argument. Yay! <sighs> time Yay! To go. I told you we'd figure it out. We did. And we didn't need my friendship portfolio to do it. Nope. 
We just needed each other. Yes! Excellent stuff, So, lesson. what do you think will happen next? We've all been called by the map now. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll find out when we get home. Uh, what if it summons all six of us to another place? Or another pony we weren't expecting? <gasps> what if it wants us to solve other kinds of problems, like quantum physics? Or why the <laughs> apple doesn't fall over the tree? Oh, no. Uh, I would like to answer you, Twally, but I'm trying to... I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> and as always, uh, thank you to you, our wicked people, for working so hard on the show. Yo! Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. So that was certainly an interesting episode, to say the least. Oh, dear. So, that was the, uh, Hooffields and the McCoys. <laughs> I, whoa, it was, that was sort of an A... Well, it wasn't exactly an atypical episode, but it was certainly unusual. It's like, we're in the middle of a pony feud. It's almost a pony war. <laughs> and of course, in traditional MOP fashion, it's like they're not trying to, you know, beat each other up or kill each other. They're just like... <laughs> it's like, I, they're just... Well, I, I guess they're sort of just trying to beat each other up. <laughs> but, yo, yo, and everything. Because, yeah, I'm pretty certain the Hartfields and the McCoys didn't end well for both sides. Uh. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um... But yeah, I mean, I like that. I kind of like the part at the end with Twilight. It's like, well, now that we've all been summoned, so the, the map has summoned us, you know, at least once. Like, What's going to happen now? It's like, this is, this is, I almost want to think, not exactly a jab at the Atalus community, but yeah, this is, this is almost like immediately what every, this is, I, I'd like to think this is somewhere referencing the uh, Atalus community. This is what everybody else is going to be thinking about. It's like, okay, now they've, it's like, oh, what's going to be, what's going to happen now? <laughs> but of course, it would make sense for Twilight to think that. Because yeah, they're still, they don't know anything. They don't know how the map works either. <laughs> So yeah, uh, so that was uh, yeah. I I really like this episode because it did uh, give me a chance to at least my I guess my inner royal guard, if you will. It's like get down. It's like do it now and <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but the best part is it's in a fun kind of way. It's like yeah, these ponies are trying to kill each other, just sort of. But you know, it's it's not good though that they're trying to beat each other up though. But mm. <laughs> I mean, it is interesting. You could almost take this is almost a, this is definitely uh, focused on video worthy. It's like um. It's kind of like with Fraggle Rock. Is that Fraggle Rock? Actually, ironically, they basically, when they started making the idea of what are we going to do with the show, it's like, let's do a show about world peace. <laughs> and they kind of, I mean, it's like, you think, oh, what a crazy idea. But, you know, they, they made it work. And they actually went through it over the course of those seasons, actually found a way to actually show, you know, why problems happened and how to ultimately resolve them and everything. And I, I like that. And that's what this episode is definitely doing. It's it's definitely almost an analysis in a way of, uh, you know, why these feuds start and why they don't stop and ultimately how to resolve them. I mean, I think they kind of lucked out in this case that both sides are actually here to protect this valley. So it's like, it's sort of like they failed their mission. And <laughs> And often in these kinds of feuds, it's like, the short answer is, it's not, oh, this side was right and that side was wrong. They're both wrong. And, you know, it's like, again, it's like, <laughs> it's like, oh, dear. Uh, it definitely could make a full focus on video on this. Because, yeah, there's a lot of Battle on Five quotes and quotes in general that I can think of. And I must admit, definitely, uh, res <laughs> again, it definitely reminds me of a situation in Babylon 5. Which I'm not going to say in the off chance you haven't seen Babylon 5 and are going to. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But, yeah, it's like, all I'm going to say is that, yeah, they, they, these two sides definitely remind me of two sides in Babylon 5. Who've, uh, let's just say, also failed at uh, being Guardians. So... <laughs> And I also kind of like the moment with the uh, when they're both argue when both sides are arguing near the stream. It's like they're both their hats fall into the river and they float away. It's like it reminds me of one of these. Um, darn, I forget what is it. I think it's a. It's one of those. I forget what kind of story it is. It's I think. Uh, I don't know parable. I don't know, but whatever. Anyway, like the the story of the two goats on like the the log over a ravine over a river. And it's like both sides won't. You know, they both want to cross, but they can't. But only one can go along on time, and then instead of, you know, letting one go over and what, then walk over, it's like they both basically butt heads and both fall over the, the log and into the ravine and die. So, <laughs> for some reason, that reminds me of that, too. That, you know, they're just butting heads at that moment, and, you know, obviously they're getting nowhere. It's like, uh-oh, it could be foreshadowing, but... <laughs> okay, okay, I'm getting heavy on this one, and it's getting... <laughs> Again, this is definitely focused on video-worthy. It's like, you know, looking at how... 
you know the you know these kind of problems develop how they get resolved and you know why it's just pointless and senseless and how it's very difficult to stop these because often the short answer is that the, both sides forget what the other side did to begin with and it happened so long ago and i will i think i will say this quote for babylon 5 it's like you know it's like i it, it doesn't matter who you know who did what to who it's like you know because by the time you know it's like it'll take us back a, you know by the time we figure out who did what to who it's like it'll take us back a hundred years before we're done <laughs> is sort of is the short answer it's like it doesn't matter at this point you know it's like it's the short answer is, is yeah it's like st stuff like this won't um be resolved unless one side says they're sorry and is willing to make things right again and stuff so again okay enough of that enough of that um Otherwise, this was an interesting episode. I mean, there's certainly a lot. I think they use just about every body type they have, and maybe even a few new ones for all the, the various ponies. We had another pony that was the same size as, um, um, darn, 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 the trouble shoes. Oh, my brain is malfunctioning. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean, they had, I think, just about every kind of body type in this episode. That was kind of cool. Um... And I, I like that. I mean, it was uh, it was just something interesting. It's like we got to, and obviously Fluttershy and Twilight got to have their um, map episode, and um, it was cool. Now all the ponies have had a map episode, and now it's going to be interesting to see where um, this goes from here. So uh, we shall see, I guess. But anyway, um, yeah, again, another thing is like Fluttershy and Twilight. It's like <laughs> it was really cool to see Fluttershy and Twilight work together, and. You know, and it was kind of nice to have Twilight be kind of old Twilight. This is, you know, this is this is this is good old fashioned Twilight. This is almost like season one Twilight, who's obsessed with books, and you know, it's like I can I, if I read enough books, I can find the answer. And of course, like, that was a great sub lesson is that you know that Twilight is like I didn't I don't need I don't need this stupid book. I just we just need each other, Fluttershy. Oh, oh, it's just so nice. And of course, that is true. And. It's almost in a way the whole point of this whole series is that, you know, the answer is not found in a book. It's found by each of these ponies working together and f coming together to solve these problems. Because it's not as simple as just, okay, turn the page to 200 and do whatever it says. <laughs> it's not as easy as that, I'm afraid. <laughs> but, you know, but that's why this episode was cool is that, you know, both, you know, all sides learned that sort of sub lesson is that, you know, is that, um, that, you know, if we do come together and work together, we can find a solution and try to work this out and find that, you know, we have a greater, I mean, that's the great thing. It's like, they're actually, they're, they have greater purpose here. Both these, these families are here to protect this vow and they've completely forgotten that. And now they've, they've come together to serve a greater purpose. Yo, hmm, I'm detecting a trend here. <laughs> I'm detecting a trend generally through the season is that, yeah, it's about ponies coming together to serve something other than themselves. Yo, I like that. That's that's great. I like that. So yeah, I really like this episode. It was it was kind of it was fun. I really I did like it. I did enjoy it because I must admit again on a personal thing. It's like this is like it's un unleash my inner royal card again. Mm, yes, <laughs> but it was all fun and everything. And I'm starting to repeat myself and rambling on as I uh, as I usually do. So mm. <laughs> so this was a good episode and I I liked it and it was good and yes and oh I'm just so glad that this that i actually liked this episode and oh oh dear let's just say let's just say it's been kind of a rough week for me last week was so oh dear so i'm glad i thought this episode was so cool and so awesome and yes and now all of the main six have had a map episode and now we shall see you know where do we go from here so <laughs> so okay so i think it's time to end this video now so <laughs> So, as always, I th uh, thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, Blue High Reaction video, and until next time, this is Blue Star. Stay strong, and pony on. Blue Star out. <laughs>